Well, one kilometre to go now. It's going to take these riders 60 seconds to get to the finish line. They are travelling at 40-something miles an hour. You can see that still Lotto Belisol have got great organisation in the front there, but they're now being charged by the white jerseys of Marcus Shimano. Now, the tailwind is causing high speeds. The peloton behind is splitting up, and they might well split time, this peloton, today. But it's a perfect lead-out for Greipel at the moment as Stegmans. And, in fact, Cavendish has chosen not to follow his teammate, Gerd Stegmans, but to drop into the line alongside him and pick up Greipel. So the big lead-out coming by Greg Henderson now for Andre Greipel. Is Greipel going to make this a second stage win for him? Cavendish is fourth wheel as there's a rush up the right of the road now. But as they go towards the line, there's a crash right in the middle there and that's Kittel who's gone down I think no it may have been Deccan Cobb as they come off the line this is Greipel now being challenged by Marcel Kittel as they come round that bend it's gone to the photo right on the line it was close you see the slight bend there as they saw the finish so it, it was between Marcel Kittel and Andre Greipel uh, and one rider on the road there that's Deccan Cobb going back to see how he is he took a nasty fall as he went down there on the road. It might have been thrown and it went down. Let's have a look again, Paul, replay. Well, this is the moment when we've got a great organisation coming. The crash went down there and somebody taking too many risks at this moment. Greipel has got the ideal line on the inside. Marcel Kittel comes around the outside. Now, just watch this. Uh, rider slipping back there. Mark Cavendish has got a long way round to go in third position. And, in fact, it looks as if Cavendish is the rider who took down the rider from Argos Shimano. Cavendish looking for the wheel. There is the launch on the attack there. Well, we've gone away from the, the slow-mo there, but the, launch, the, the sprint was definitely started off there by Andre Greipel. And Greipel has been beaten on the line. I've just heard Race Radio report that Greipel has lost to Marcel Kittel here. So Marcel Kittel, I think, is the man who has taken it right through on the inside, the best beat place to be because of the way the line was approached. And he's pipped uh, Greipel right on the line. But, boy, it was close. So his teammate may have fall, but his job was done in the end to get his team leader across the line first. Well, it was a big battle. Uh, Sagan was uh, a little bit blown away in that sprint. This is the moment when uh, the sprinters' lead-out men are starting to move away from the front end of the pack. Cavendish is uh, still right up there looking for the wheel of Andre Greipel. Well, as they came up, you know, just watch the location of Cavendish and the faller because it was very strange, but it seemed to be the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder battle just waiting to see how this rider falls. He moves across. Now, does he clip the wheel of Cavendish in the end? Because Cavendish seems to have moved himself into a perfect position, but the road goes to the left, and it's only the... Ro oh, that was a, a real thump on the shoulder by Cavendish. And, uh, well, the judges might have something to say about that, even if it uh, wasn't intentional. And then came the rush of Marcel Kittel coming up to the line. And, uh, it's pretty obvious that they've pit pipped Greipel from the top shot there. And he came through on the inside. And, and remember, Kittel is only going for stage wins. He's not interested in the green jersey competition. Well, Greipel had the right line uh, starting there. To win that sprint, you needed to come up on the left-hand side of the road, up alongside the barriers, and Kittel managed to come up through on his inside. So let's have a look then at results. As the photo finish has given us, uh, Marcel Kittel snatches it on the line of Andre Greipel. Cavendish is given third. Sagan is fourth. And the FDJ sprinter, William Bonnet, uh, coming over there in fifth place, but he was a little bit off the pace. There's uh, congratulations for Kittel, and then he'll go and look for his teammate who fell in that final sprint.